Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome to another quick tutorial. And today I'm just going to be uh, destroying a brick wall uh, with a bus. So it's going to be quite fun. So first of all is I'm going to add a plane. Uh, I'm going to add a plane to this, which is like that. Then I'm going to add a box, which is going to be my wall. Like so. And so we've got a box and a wall there. Like so, and then I'm gonna import something I want to use uh, to be my destructive force. I'm just gonna bring in this bus and uh, just click on import. Like so, so I've got my bus here uh, and my wall, but my bus is uh, a little bit small, so um, I'm gonna uh, select the bus. And I'm just going to uh, scale it up a bit. And make it look nice and big for my scene. A bit more. So my bus is now uh, in my scene. I'm going to use these views here to sort of uh, align everything. So I'm just going to get my box, um, push my box right back, <clears throat> set my whole bus, and just uh, try. So bring this to about here. Let's, um, Bring the buses up and let's get the wheels. <laughs> oh, don't forget the wheels. Uh, <coughs> bring the wheels up. Um, uh, it's not too bad, so I'm just going to move my my wall into place and slip the bus and just sort of bring it about there. Bring the bus over. Now we could do it like this bus is sort of reversing um, and it's just going to smash into the wall so that's probably what we will do. Um, let's make our plane, oh sorry, our, our wall um, just slightly bigger so it's sort of a more sort of impact um, that's going to happen uh, to this scene. So that's not looking too bad. Okay, so uh, we meet, we need to make some um, alteration, alter, alterization, shall I say? So uh, let's just bring this down onto the plane a bit. Okay, okay, so that's cool. So we need to uh, set this up now. So in order to be able to do this, we need to use a ray fire. So I'm just going to open up a ray fire array fire folder and I'm just going to uh, open this right up so I've got all my options uh, in view and uh, here we've got dynamic uh, impact object so we're going to select the object basically we want to be destroyed so for this I want this wall so I'm just going to add, add that and the things we don't want to get destroyed are like the plane and the bus we're going to add to our static connect object and then I'm just going to select my bus, whole bus, and I'm going to add that, including the wheels and everything. Um, so that is uh, cool with that. And then what we're going to do is we are um, going to... Right, so that's fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, sort out uh, the fragmentation for this wall. So. I'm just going to make sure my wall selected. Go over to Fragment um, and make sure I'm at the top. Uh, it's not scroll down. And I'm going to click on Fragment. And as you can see, we've got some nice uh, fragmentation uh, of our wall. Lots of nice pieces. Right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to animate our bus going through the wall. So I'm just going to select my bus all my bus, um, come down to here, click uh, all OK, uh, 
create a keyframe. So go about say 45 there. And then I'm gonna get my arrow and I'm just gonna reverse my bus straight through the wall. All right, so, and what we've got here is the bus just basically reversing through the wall, which is pretty cool. We can add some animation to that uh, just to make it look a bit more interesting in a second. But so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to um, our physics and we're just gonna preview this. As you can see, our box is falling down, but we have a little problem because as you see, the box is um, falling out of the seat. Um, and that's purely uh, my fault because the plane is not sitting, or shall I say the, the wall is not sitting on the plane. Okay, so we need to uh, fix that. Um, let's just um, come up to here and just make our plane uh, a lot longer um, and a lot wider. So let's go back to um, our first frame um, and let's uh, re preview that. And as you can see, our box um, is falling with the impact of the bus and it's not going through our actual scene, which is uh, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty goddamn cool. Now we can texture this uh, if we require. Um, so let's just um, come out of here and let's, um, all these are gonna be individual. So let's just, Bake it. Bang. See our bus hits and it beautifully makes it uh, fall down, which is uh, pretty cool. Pretty goddamn cool. Right, so let's um, make some changes to our scene. Okay, um, let's go back to our objects. Um, and these are all the parts that are being fragmented now. So I'm just gonna hold down shift and select all of them. And I'm gonna change that to glass, okay? And that's fine. Uh, let's go box, all right, so. Let's go back to physics. Let's just preview that. See the different ways, if you select, whatever you select like glass, it's gonna fall differently, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. And yeah, it just looks really, really good. And then you can um, texture uh, all your bits and pieces uh, afterwards. So I'm just gonna put that so make sure uh, when it's reversed, it, to bus, when a bus is hitting or the object's hitting, it um, fragments uh, uh, when it's hitting. So I'm just gonna draw, drop these textures. I can just drop these uh, textures on uh, to create a brick wall um, or a glass, but I'll just quickly do this. Like a big uh, Lego set. I should have done this uh, before. Um, but you can sort of get a rough idea of uh, when you're texturing this uh, to give it a, a real sort of look. Uh, I'm just going to uh, speed through this um, and I'll get back to you once this is textured. Right, so I've added my textures as you can see, so I'm just going to preview that now. And make sure that's all okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my dynamics on this because I don't want it to be glass no more because it's a brick wall. So we'll wait for that to finish. And 
let's bring it back to our first uh, uh, scene, shall I say? And let's put that to brick. Brick. It's kind of physics, let's just preview it. Brick will be more heavier, so. So it looks okay, but it doesn't look great, it doesn't look very realistic, but this is just to give you guys a rough idea on how to uh, pull something like this off. Now the bus is hitting on impact, as you can see there, over the side of the bus. So let's go back to uh, layers and let's change our size to uh, small, maybe a bit smaller yet. And let's go back to objects and let's uh, put this to dense rock. Uh, make sure that this is set okay. Let's try this and let's go to physics and then let's bake it. Now it doesn't look too bad as you can see, well you just saw there, we'll look at this angle here, um, that the it was colliding uh, with the actual uh, wall, so it did hit. So if we um, bring that back and bring this over, it was on impact, well not really on impact, so we sort of need to uh, fix that now. Uh, to make sure that this um, basically when it hits um, it starts breaking when it hits hits the uh, object so slip the old bus there right so what we're going to do is um, we're going to come up to here uh, our dummy, uh, dynamic link uh, status and we're going to just right click so click on that and then we'll go to the menu and send sleeping list and it should send it down to there so now when we go to uh, preview um, when the bus hits then it breaks see that which is going to give us a really nice uh, broken sort of wall effect uh, with the bus going through it so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial. Um, as always, if you have a like rate, it would definitely be appreciated. And I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Uh, ciao, ciao.